Hey you guys, welcome back. I have something really exciting to tell you and to show you. This past spring break 2022, we did one of the most amazing family trips we have ever done without breaking the bank. Kidding, we broke it really bad. Would you like to find out more? Well, then stick around for this video. We have never owned or even drove an RV before, but we always wanted to try it. Travel around US, go to some national parks. I did look at some websites. Cruise America, RVRentals.com, all of those offer drivable RVs for $150 a night, the lowest, not including cleaning fees, insurance, and whatever other charges they apply. So honestly, it would be much cheaper to fly the entire family, for example, to Belize and have an all-inclusive one-week vacation. But it wouldn't be us if we didn't find a life hack to rent a brand new seven-person drivable RV for only $9 a day to have a 10-day cross-country vacation. And here's how we did it. So. Pretty much every town in the US has a few RV dealerships with variable RV types and very variable prices. There are also a lot of companies that rent the RVs for travelers for a very high dollar. And believe it or not, they are all booked up for a season ahead. As you can imagine, most of the RV rental companies should be in warmer states, such as Florida, California, Texas, Nevada, and so on. But 85% of US RV manufacturers are located in Indiana. Newly built RVs need to be transported to, for example, California, Nevada, or Washington. And this is how you can get a huge deal on renting and relocating a brand new RV. We transported this Class C extra-large seven-person RV for the company El Monte, located on the West Coast. They do offer one-way rental special on their website, but this is not the special you are looking for. Go to imova.com and that's where you can find real deals. Now you can get to transport a brand new RV for as low as $1 a day and even get some credit towards gas. I booked a trip before the gas prices skyrocketed, so I paid $9 a night with no extra credit. But even then, in total, I paid $130 for 14 days. I gotta admit, we did run into some troubles as a first time RV drivers, but it was totally worth it. If you want to find out more, keep watching our adventures. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you in the next video.